Hey guys, Superbro Mike here, and in today's video we enter the strange and mysterious world of Death Stranding as we take a look at its creepiest moments and easter eggs. For those of you who don't know, Death Stranding tells the tale of a lonely delivery man named Sam Porter Bridges who works for a federation known as the UCA, or United Cities of America. The UCA are attempting to reconnect the chiral network across continental America in a bid to reignite communication between the last remaining human outposts as well as regathering historical information lost before the Death Stranding, a mass extinction event that almost wiped out humanity as we know it. There's far more to the story than this brief summary can reveal, however this is not a video based around story exposition. Now we have a basic idea of Death Stranding's premise, let's dive into its dark side with a rundown of its creepiest elements. Bridge babies, or BBs as they are more commonly referred to, are seemingly cute and innocent on the surface but contain a chilling backstory. These children who never age and live within a portable pod strapped to the chest of a porter allow the carrier to sense the impending danger of BTs around the game world. The BB has a connection to the realm of the dead, which is why they are able to sense these ghostly life forms. The reason for this otherworldly connection is pretty unsettling. You see, a BB is an unborn child taken from the womb of its still mother, women who remain in a coma-like state and are kept alive via life support. The baby is kept alive in this incubator pod by periodically being allowed to synchronise and gather data from its brain-dead mother. So the very pod itself artificially simulates the womb of this tragic victim. What's even creepier about the whole situation is the realisation that these babies are being used as a tool by the UCA and are not even considered as a human life form. At many points in the game, Sam is reminded not to consider the child as such as it will be disposed of after it has outlived its usefulness. Uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. There are a handful of spooky easter eggs surrounding Sam's BB2. While resting in a private room, players can check up on their BB while it synchronises with its still mother in the incubator on the wall. Most of the time doing this simply triggers an affectionate animation between Sam and his bridge baby. However, very occasionally, you may encounter a more nightmarish vision. Here are a few examples. So we've looked at bridge babies, but what about the ghostly creatures they are able to detect? These are known as beached things, or BTs for short. In Death Stranding, the beach is a place beyond the realm of the living, a mysterious location which acts as a link between our world and the afterlife. These beached things are ghostly remnants of creatures who have died and then become tethered and trapped in our world rather than being able to move on to the next. Gazers are human ghosts tethered to much larger and more hostile BTs that take on an animalistic form. They moan out as they float ominously a few feet above the ground. Sam is able to cut their tethers and free these BTs if he can sneak up on them. 
In order to navigate a BT infested area, Sam must hold his breath and walk slowly while crouched. There is a definite tension and creep factor to navigating one of these areas. If Sam is spotted, then handprints of a larger creature begin to form in the ground around him, and if this unseen entity catches the player, a tar-like substance rises from the earth, and a mass of inky humanoid figures reach up to drag us down. Now we must fight the giant BT these others have been tethered to. As mentioned before, these creatures resemble animals such as whales, spiders and lions, all with a very alien appearance. They are truly horrifying to encounter, making all manner of disturbing sounds as they give chase and dive in and out of the tar. Entire sunken cities rise up from this strange liquid too. It's pretty scary seeing long forgotten ghost towns rising from the earth out of nowhere, especially with these BTs hunting us down within them. Perhaps creepiest of all are the baby BTs we occasionally encounter, which wail out when their tether is cut. One of Death Stranding's creepiest encounters is a non-hostile one involving a baby BT. There is a character known as Mama who has a tragic backstory. While Mama was pregnant, a building collapsed around her and caused her to become trapped for weeks on end under the rubble. She survived, but her baby did not. It now lives on as a BT tethered around her own body, and this means she can never leave a lab where the incident happened or both parties would die. It's a creepy sight seeing this grieving mother still nurturing the ghost of her dead child. Then there are the jellyfish-like entities unofficially known as gas bags. They float in large groups high above the ground, their tendrils reaching down to latch onto anyone unfortunate enough to pass by. As Sam navigates this living minefield, these BTs gravitate towards him, exploding on impact. They only appear a few times toward the end of the game, which is a relief as they are pure nightmare fuel. Of course, like any game worth its salt, Death Stranding contains a selection of epic boss encounters, and these offer some of the most terrifying sights of all. The game's main antagonist is a mysterious rival porter known as Higgs Monaghan, or the Man in the Golden Mask. This former delivery man turned terrorist uses Sam's sister Amelie and her supernatural powers to create a monstrous humanoid that towers above the buildings of this city. Amelie and Higgs are bound inside this giant as it tries to crush Sam while summoning all manner of BTs in the process. <laughs> Eventually, its form changes from that of Amelie to something truly unsettling as its head morphs into an enormous clawed hand. Near the end of the game, Sam faces off against an equally disturbing monstrosity, this giant whale-like BT which floats through the sky and plunges in and out of the tar as Sam attempts to stay afloat. Finally, there is a creepy BT-related easter egg unlockable while resting up in Sam's private room. This is triggered if we focus our attention on Sam's feet for a prolonged period of time. Check it out. This ghost is actually modelled on the game director Hideo Kojima. We previously mentioned Higgs, the terrorist attempting to bring annihilation upon the world which would spell out the extinction of mankind. Sam eventually defeats Higgs during the story of the game, and after doing so we can locate his hideout in the game world. 
This hideout is located west of Lake Knot City at Peter Englert's delivery point. After completing the game and returning to this shelter, you will notice the doorway behind the delivery point is now open. Enter through this doorway and at the bottom of the stairs is a haunting sight. Higgs has a room devoted to the study of previous Death Stranding events throughout history. But creepiest of all is his insane obsession with Sam. We can see from photographs that Higgs has been trailing us the entire time, watching Sam from afar and documenting his travels. Hateful messages manically inscribed all over the walls paint a disturbing picture of this unbalanced individual's state of mind. It's a chilling discovery to be sure. Sam looks like a pretty regular guy on the outside, but as soon as he undresses to take a shower, we see a horrifying sight. Sam's body is covered in handprints, but why? The reason for this is due to a condition Sam suffers from, which causes his skin to bruise and scar when touched. What makes this sight all the more haunting is the realisation that these handprints come from the many times Sam has been grabbed by various BT entities around the world as they attempted to drag him down into the sludge they emerge from. These are daily reminders of the ghosts he has encountered throughout his journey. During Sam's adventure, he transports a number of items, from medical supplies to food and clothing, all in the name of rebuilding America and aiding its remaining inhabitants. However, on occasion, we are tasked with a slightly darker and more sinister form of delivery. There are moments where Sam needs to transport actual humans on his back, either bodies that need taking to a nearby incinerator for disposal, or those who need transporting safely to other settlements. Because of Timefall, a deadly form of rain that instantly ages and degrades anything it touches, Sam must wrap these bodies up in cocoon-like bags and then strap them to his back. There's something chilling about seeing a body wrapped up in this way and then carried around like a package. Of course, this process is creepiest of all when the person is no longer alive and Sam is simply lugging a corpse around on his back. Without doubt, one of Death Stranding's creepiest characters and environments come in the form of Clifford Unger's combat veteran and the alternate war-torn nightmare dimension he inhabits. The combat veteran was a betrayed member of the UCA who had his child and wife taken from him and now in death searches these beach-based battlegrounds for his long-lost child, trapped between the world of the living and the dead, unable to find peace. I need you, little baby. Where's my baby? He summons creepy looking dolls which detect the player's location and tethered to him is an undead army of skeletal soldiers. As we explore these nightmarish battlefields, we see the ghosts of fallen soldiers still fighting a forgotten war. This weird imagery is truly the stuff of nightmares and you'll feel relieved every time you manage to defeat this combat veteran and his undead army and escape back to reality. Unless Sam perishes in the nightmare world we just visited, the player will not actually experience a game over screen. Instead, when we die during our travels, we are transported to an underwater landscape known as the Seam. This creepy place allows us to freely float around an underwater version of the area we last explored, all manner of sea creatures swimming around above. We can even see the souls of other fallen players if connected online. It's a chilling sight. In order to escape, we must locate Sam's body and re-enter it. Doing this sends the camera inside Sam's mouth and down his throat, where BB gives us the thumbs up to return. An unsettling sight, especially the first time you experience it. However, very occasionally, instead of our cute companion, we are met with one of combat veterans' nightmarish-looking dolls instead. Hmm. 
And with that, we reach the end of this look at Death Stranding's creepiest moments and Easter eggs. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more horror-related content, and I will see you on the next video.